Well, good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome. Uh, thanks very much for coming. I'm David Abraham, the Chief Executive of Channel 4. And in a moment, I'm going to introduce the Secretary of State, uh, Jeremy Hunt, who we're delighted to have here this evening, and the medal-winning Paralympian and Channel 4 presenter, Adi Adepitan. But first, I'd like to say a few short words about why at Channel 4 we're so thrilled to have been appointed the host broadcaster for the 2012 Paralympic Games and what we've been doing uh, to prepare for this amazing event. As some of you may know, I've only been in this role since May. When I was appointed, there were a great many things that I was looking forward to getting stuck into. Channel 4 is really a very special place and does many fantastic things, from supporting Oscar-winning movies such as Slumdog Millionaire to providing the UK's best, well, I would say that, wouldn't I, nightly news bulletin, the Channel 4 News. And I gather that uh, Jon Snow will be here shortly, but he's actually reading the news right now. Um, but I have to say, one of the most exciting things about coming here was knowing that Channel 4 had secured the rights to broadcast the 2012 Paralympic Games. This opportunity seems to me to be exactly the kind of thing that Channel 4 was put on the earth to grasp. Here we have a fantastic, high-quality sporting event featuring some of the UK's most talented and inspiring elite athletes, but it does not as yet have the kind of profile and awareness that it truly deserves. Raising that profile and awareness is exactly the type of challenge that Channel 4 has been taking on since its arrival on the scene in the early 1980s. Now, for those of you like me old enough uh, to remember the days when there were only a handful of television channels, it was Channel 4 that brought basketball, American football, and a wide range of other sports to the attention of UK audiences for the first time. And it was also Channel 4 that, through technological innovation and a radical approach to marketing, completely revitalised and transformed the profile and awareness of a sport that, whilst well-known, was struggling at that time to maintain viewers, the test cricket. So we have a track record of successfully raising the profile of high-quality sporting events like the Paralympics. And we've always had a mission to provide a platform for views, talent and events that sit outside the mainstream. I think it's fair to say that whilst good progress has been made, as things stand today, that's currently perhaps where the Paralympics is in the minds of many people. You've only got to look at the limited amount of coverage, both print and broadcast, given to the recent BT Paralympic World Cup to realise that we have some way to go. Now, we aim to change all that in two years. Our bid for the rights was built on three key principles. Firstly, we committed to providing much greater coverage in terms of hours than has ever been previously provided. We will broadcast over 150 hours of live coverage of the Games themselves, an increase of 400% compared to Beijing. And for the period of the Games, Channel 4 will effectively be rebranded the Paralympic Channel. Secondly, we committed to innovate in the way that we cover the Games, both in terms of technology and production. We will use this to make the Games as visually arresting, interactive and engaging as possible. And in terms of the talent that we're going to use on and off screen, there'll be disabled crew working on all our productions and we're aiming for 50% disabled presenting and reporting talent on screen. We've also appointed a talent uh, blogger, James Ballady, to, to create a strong editorial voice for Channel 4's Paralympics. Paralympic content online and key social networks. And their role is to build a community of followers and fans who are interested in Channel 4 and in Paralympic sport and to develop awareness of the sports, the key sports talent, the key presenting talent and other disabled talent in other areas such as comedy, music and drama. And thirdly, we are committed to challenging the way that people see disability sport to raise awareness of the games themselves, but also of the phenomenal ability and excellence of the athletes taking part. The real legacy that we want to leave behind after 2012 is a transformation in the way that viewers think about the Paralympics and about the concept of disability itself. Now, these are not clearly small goals. We know that they will only be achieved if we work closely and in partnership with many of the individuals, groups, 
and companies in this room tonight. And I'm delighted that we have representatives here from LOCOG, Paralympics GB, Sainsbury's and BT, as well as many others. Thank you all for being here. We also know that we need to play our part in looking to build interest on screen in the run-up to the Games. Our commissioning teams have been busy since we won the rights back in January to coincide with the two years to go date in August. And we'll be launching a new website and a new weekly magazine program, that Paralympic show, made by Boomerang in Wales, presented by Addy and by T4's Rick Edwards, and a high concept and we hope high impact 90 minute feature documentary called Inside Incredible Athletes, made by Renegade and Mike Christie. 